Let's take a look at the ternary operator. All right, we found us back in Tell once more. And in this tutorial over here in the Java introduction, we're going to be taking a look at the ternary operator. Now, this is not necessarily a very important thing, but it is quite important that you have seen this once again. So, for example, right, let's say we have a health variable over here that is zero and we have a string called status with right now is just going to be empty and then we can ask hey what is your status and if health is you know bigger than zero then we're going to set the status to alive and if it's not then we say non-alive let's say right so we can say system out print line what is your status and we can then print out the status variable over here and then what we could do is we can say hey if health is bigger than zero right we're going to set status equal to alive. And then with an else statement over here, we're going to say status is equal to non-alive. That's all fine and dandy. And I can select this over here, press control C to copy it, control V to paste it in. And if we were to run this, we can see that right now the status is non-alive. And up here, of course, the status is nothing because, well, in this case, it's nothing. We are then going to reset the status over here just by once again, putting it to nothing. And now thinking about this, we're going to now set this via the ternary operator. So the ternary operator basically is just going to allow you to basically have an if statement in one line. So what we're going to say is we're going to say status is equal to health is bigger than zero. So the first thing we need is a Boolean statement, right? This could also be a Boolean, but in this case, it's just the comparison. Then we're going to put in a question mark over here. The next thing that we're going to pass in is the thing that's going to be returned if we if this is true, right? So if the Boolean statement over here is true, then we will return alive. And then we do a colon over here. And the second thing is the thing that is returned if this is false. And that is going to be non alive. Then we can once again just copy this control C, control V to paste it in. And in this case, we're going to have this exact same thing. So we run this. You can see our status. This was this line over here. And then this line over here is once again this. If I were to change the health to, let's say, three, all of a sudden, we're going to get alive over here for both of them. So this whole thing is basically the same as this whole thing. Now, sometimes the ternary operator is quite useful in, you know, de decluttering some of the code. However, it is also harder to read, especially if you have multiple if statements and inside of each other, then you'd have like multiple ternary operators inside of each other, which is definitely not recommended as it really does not improve the readability of the code. However, you have to know about this because maybe sometimes even if you personally don't use it, like this construct is totally fine and you can use this no issue whatsoever. However, if you read code from others, maybe they tend to use the ternary operator more often. And then of course you need to know what this crazy construct is, the question mark with the colon over here. That is the ternary operator. But that's already it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll talk about casting variables. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.